There we go. Yay! Okay, we're back. Rogue's having issues. <laughs> we'll see if she continues having issues. But we're going to do Act 4 now. We're almost level 30, which means we could actually respec a little bit if we wanted to. Get rid of you. I would want to take off my gear to make sure... I actually am not sure how much strength I actually have. That's strength. That's not. That is... So we have 70. So we're not fully engorged on strength. We're just okay on it. That's fine. So off we go... Do we get level 30 and then go back and respec? I think we do. Go ahead and beat the crap out of some things. I think we want this one. There we go. Now we have Holy Shock as well. We'll be a Tesla Den. Baby's first Tesla Den? Probably. But we're still on Players Day. We're still on all that jazz. We're just... New recording session, same stream. I think we will get through normal today, though. Just, just thinking, because I'm feeling energetic this morning. So I'll probably make it a ways of the ways in. Sadly, I don't think it will, we'll make it until, like, Karenai or one of them is streaming. So I doubt I'll be raiding anybody. But we'll see. I can look in a little while. We still have two more acts for sure to go on. We might even go into Nightmare a little bit. Depending on how much energy I have in two more hours. <laughs> So there's our level 30. More vitality. Murder all the things. More holy fire. Now, we could go holy shock. We could go stick with holy fire for a little while longer. If we wanted to. We'd be fine. Oh, wow. That, that is peaking up a lot higher than I thought it would be. Options. Sound. Down to there. 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 Hopefully it's not too overbearing. Bonk. Yeah, Act 4 has high fire resist. We're, we're, we're not really caring too much about that, but... Yeah. Although, weirdly enough, you'd think Act 4 would have, like, the most fire resist in the game. It really... There's a lot of things with zero fire resist in Act 4. <laughs> Even in Hell difficulty, like, I, I pointed them out on the other one. The spitter guys who spawn here in the outer steps have, like, zero fire resist, for example. But, yeah, it's all over the place. I'm still deciding what I want to do for the thumbnail for the randomizers, because I, I have made thumbnails for Project Diablo 2, and I've made, I have the regular thumbnails for... Ooh, do, have we seen Clegg's... I don't think know if we've seen Clegg's. Let's go ahead and check Clegg's. Holy Fire. Yeah, we've seen that one. But, yeah. There's a lot of things that are fire immune, like the Balrogs and the um, Doom Knights are your big fire guys. There's a lot of lightning immunes in Act 4, in my opinion. Which is fine. It's just a little bit weird. So is this going to be better than what we got? Um, Cyclone armor when struck. Okay. Necromancer skills, 300% enhanced damage. Is that better than plus one all skills and bonus attack rating? Actually, that's higher defense too. So all we're really losing is 5% uh, poison resist. And a little bit of, um, yeah, 5% poison resist, but we still have, like, we're good. And we're losing a skill point. Maybe, we'll see. Oh, wow, this is already damaged? What? How much durability does it have? Um, 16 of 132. Holy butt nuggets. <clears throat> Does that actually have enhanced durability on it? I'm looking at it. I don't see enhanced durability on it. 
Okay, we're going with it. It looks better than the other one we had. So, when when you can't decide based on not aesthetics, whenever you can't whenever you can't decide based on stats, just decide based on aesthetics. You'll be fine. It'll be okay. So let's go. Yeah, planes of despair. We don't have to worry about gloams at all. <laughs> Because guess what? We have the plenty of resist to that. We do need to repair the armor eventually, but I don't think most things here can actually hit us and damage it. And is she level 25 now? Nope, she's level 30. She she already got her 25 a while back, I guess. I just didn't notice. She's going to stay caught up with us forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. <laughs> and I, still, I think I actually prefer the armor she has on her over the armor that... I was wearing on me because that redemption aura is going to keep her alive as long as we can kill some things she'll be fine and is this any good um three elemental skills dual leech um venom when you level up i think that's going to be better than her helmet i don't think it's better than eh, ours is life tap on striking yeah we definitely want ours because that'll keep us alive in hell difficulty even Mm, a bunch of stats on hers. Yeah, I think this might be better. Because the life leech and the resists. We'll see in a little bit. Definitely going to go catch the... And yes, I actually did go and look at the Tomberry things. Though, most of them are pretty neat. The, I have to say the chairs look like somebody skinned a Tonberry and stretched it over a chair. But <laughs> the little statues and stuff are awesome. I like those. How would you like to be turned into a chair? <laughs> Just peel your flesh off and slip it over. It's a slip cover. Yeah, true. Um, keeping the helmet just in case I want to get a high level item, item on them. Possibly. Not a bad decision there. That said, if it if this rolls out kind of like how the original randomizer run rolled out, where we just ended up with like a bunch of like stats on the early stuff and nothing on the late ones, I'm, I'm not going to be as worried about that. But I, I do want to get to the late ones and make sure that we're not just going to have some amazing late gear. Hey, as well. Hey, you're actually kind of durable. You're on player's eight though, so being durable is fine. And I always forget that he, whenever he dies, by the way, he does an AOE kill. So, it always, it throws me off a little bit whenever everything just dies. Because I'm not expecting it. Because he doesn't have, like, a kill graphic. He just has a kill effect. Like, Blood Raven. So, there's our st uh, path to the next area. I do need to respec. I think I will go possibly a Tesladin. Just bump up our lightning skill. From our shield and just go full on into that because we can respect two more times without me having to grab items off of like vanilla characters and i'm not opposed to pulling items off of vanilla characters i just don't want to take things from this guy on two other ones like i don't i don't feel bad if i need to put some runes on him to try out some things I do wonder if it will load properly, because some of these mods are hidden mods. And yes, we are still using that. I actually like this helmet just because it gives us the aura. The I am I am using a full set, but I'm not aura. Yay, Ithrune. Not going to really use it. Um, we are picking up random junk again. No pickup. There we go. I keep forgetting to turn that on. I forgot to do the slash. There we go. Now we can't just accidentally pick up garbage. And we really do need to go repair everything. We are we are damaging stuff. I think I'm just not looking forward to having to take off gear. Hate the death explosion. Your barb died together with Griswold, who is fire and cold enchanted. Oh, God, yes. 
death explosions can be a pain in the ass. It used to be, and I think they fixed it, that like fire enchanted and stuff like that would travel with the lightning from lightning enchanted. And that's one of the things that made them so freaking deadly. But I think they fixed that. There's a lot of painful things that used to exist that don't now. Ooh, we got our first more than three row belt. I mean, more, sorry, more than two row belt. Stat-wise, plus one all skill levels, 40% increased attack speed, 10% extra experience gained. Okay. Um, Doesn't give us enhanced damage. Oh, yeah, it does. It gives us 200%. A lot less damage, but we're going to keep this, and we're going to actually go for that for the more slots later on, probably. Because I don't think we're going to have the runes to actually upgrade stuff. Oh, we're going to stick with this for the enhanced experience. We'll keep the other one around, though. And this should be the top edge, so we really don't want to be up there. We want to be in the middle. We're looking for them there stairs. Because the stairs will be the waypoint, and the waypoint means that we can go home and get stuff repaired. Um, could upgrade to an exceptional belt. Yeah, I just can't. Rem I I can't remember what runes it is from normal to exceptional off the top of my head. Um, from exceptional to elite is a little bit of a pain to find, but I think the normal to exceptional is relatively easy. Question mark. I mean, I could go look. Probably should have done that in between these, but eh. Let's see. Do I want to keep that? Oh, what I would give to be able to rotate. Let's see. We don't actually have enough slots in there to do that. So I think that's going to go there. That's there. We're level 30 now, so we actually can equip that. Instead of Mantled Heal. Although Mantled Heal is going to be kept for resistances. Cathans can go away. There we go. We're just like all perfectly fine and happy right now. Um, yes, yeah, sell those. Get rid of those. All the non-greater ones, fill it up. Don't need the mana potion either. I'll sell it whenever I go to repair stuff. Looking okay on scrolls. I'm going to need some more, but... And do we respec is the question. Shell, towel, and diamond. Okay. Yeah, I can get those. Even if I just have to transfer them in, I can get those and upgrade it. So if we find a good one, it, it, it's not that hard thing to farm. Honestly, a nightmare we can farm it from the Countess as well. The perfect diamond is going to be the hardest part. So let's go ahead and... Uh, do we respec already? I think we do. I think... We don't need the increased attack speed either, and we don't need attack rating. I think we go... We're doing Zealot. That's the only, like, hard fast we're doing that guaranteed thing. We have Holy Shock on our shield... Not enough to be like a true Tesla din, but we can kind of play around with it, just for lulls. And yes, I am using that phrase way too often, I apologize. Welcome back, my and bonk reset. I think this is like 116. That's close enough, and the rest into that. And skill-wise, we're going to go ahead and max out Resist Lightning. Why? Because we can. And that's going to make the Tesla aspect of this a little bit stronger. And I think we actually go down to Conviction.
So now we have Conviction and Holy Shock as our main auras. We also have, I think, Vigor coming from something. Somewhere in here. Maybe not. We might have gotten rid of the item that had it. And that's all the Conviction we really need there. Where's our thing that had reduced electricity resistance? Reduce lightning resistance, sorry. Thought we had something that had reduced enemy lightning resistance. I'm looking. Did we throw it out? The thing that... Oh, never mind. There it is. Eye of Ethelic. We lose some enhanced damage and we get minus enemy lightning resist. And we could cast Wake of Inferno if we really wanted to. Woo, not really interested in that. We'll probably end up going back to Nokazan. Just because that's an amazing amulet. Like, there's nothing wrong with that one. But I want to mess around with this because we can. Other than that, I think we just go into Salvation. Oh, we can only put one point into that. Um. Oh, we need to go down on Zeal as well. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and dump into Zeal. There. That should be enough damage to just end anything. Actually, this is probably enough damage to end anything into Hell difficulty. <laughs> and hopefully the reduced enemy lightning resist will actually work well enough with this that we don't have to worry about anything. Because Conviction can break immunities. And it will break most of the immunities. Nah, no points in charge. We're not going for max block. So we don't need to go down to Holy Shield. Charge would probably help with some movement tech if we wanted it, but... Nah. I said I was going a Zealot, so we're going a Zealot. Bonk. Bonk. Um, I will go ahead and do the Hellforge. Just because we can. And that could give us a perfect diamond. I mean, if, if we don't get a perfect diamond, I think I can transfer one over since I don't have um, the... Whatchamacallits, the Splash Jewels enabled. I don't have those enabled. Otherwise, this would be completely broken. Because we would be doing that much damage in a Splash Radius. Which is a hell no. You always charge and zeal. That That's a fairly common strategy. And it does work. Um, I only reason I don't use charge, like, instinctively is because... For a long time, and I don't know if it's still the case. I don't think it is. Slow effects would sometimes cause you to charge backwards. Which was a royal nightmare. So, yeah. Same reason I'm usually hesitant to do zeal. It's a lot better than it was. But you, zeal lock used to be a nightmare of a thing as well. Where you'd stand there just swinging. At either nothing or swinging and missing completely because something bugged up. Identify and identify. Vidalas is... Oh. Okay. That's good as well. And which one are we going to be? Angelic? Okay. But yeah. Okay. Have a good one, Adam. Thank you for joining in on the stream. I appreciate the chat and all that lovely jazz. And don't worry, the VOD will still be up, and if you want to watch it, I'll also be uploading it to YouTube eventually. Eventually. Provided the, like, recording doesn't corrupt or something. Which I've had happen. It happens. It, it's not abnormal. It's just not super common. But have a good rest of your day. Rest of your... Afternoon slash evening at this point.
And let's see. Where actually is Mr. Happy? Is he really going to be down here by, like, the entrance? Might be quicker to just go up to the waypoint and warp to River of Flame waypoint after killing him. Nope, he's not there. Did I miss him? I think I might have missed him somewhere. That doesn't go down. Uh, he could be up off of there. I'm going to check this way. It is possible for him to spawn left of the stairs. It's really not likely, though. Simply just because of how it works. There's hardly ever much space to the left of the stairs. So the other spot he could be is this could be like a branch up, which I don't think it is. It's not. Did you? Yeah, you just hit me with something. You jerk. Joik. So did we miss our branch off of here? That's not it. It could be up off this one up top. It could just be... I I didn't think to explore over there because I was just thought it was a nubby. It's probably not just a nubby. It's definitely not just a nubby. It's another path. But yeah, he's always on a vertical path off of the branch, so... Yeah. Claymore, no. And even if we get a flawless diamond here, that's at least a step up. Because then we can go hunting for a um, gem shrine, even, to get it. And once we get into Nightmare, rune drops should be a lot more frequent as well, because um, increase the rune drops. Because that makes life so much easier whenever you're doing just single run kind of go-throughs for a randomizer. Just to be able to try the different things. Smashy, smashy. One, two, three. Is this any good? Probably not. Um, it's bow and crossbow skills on a staff <laughs> to start with. Uh, not too amazing. And we got a perfect amethyst. No diamonds whatsoever. Got a thole rune though. Cute. So let's see now. Shale Tal and Perfect Diamond. Tal is going to be super easy to come by. Shale, relatively easy. Perfect Diamond, going to be a little bit harder now that we didn't get that drop. So let's go ahead and kill these guys. We'll Town Portal up and then just go through the waypoint back to fighting the minions of Diablo. Bonk. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and toss these on the ground. We don't need them. They're not that useful for us right now. So, we can get more later. I know a lot of people are probably offended by the fact that I just throw stuff on the ground so much. Once you have enough stuff, you don't worry about it too much. There are things that are needed for the specific run. I don't need to hoard those because I'm not actually transferring anything off of this guy anyway. Because can you imagine just playing through, like, normal with, like, all this stuff? Jeez. It'd be broken. Of course, we are almost playing through normal on this. Um, we have the possibility to get stuff that's completely useless. We do actually need a higher damage weapon for leech purposes in hell difficulty. But even still, since we can proc life tap, it's not too terrible.